Welcome back to Emacs Rocks. Today we're taking a look at the glorious stuff to be done with Swank JS. It's a REPL for JavaScript. I found it a little hard to install and I've added some convenient functions to set it up for myself. But now I can jack into the JavaScript REPL. It has auto completion, which is nice. But I can also run JavaScript straight from the buffer. Eval is Control X, Control E, like in Elisp, and the results are at the bottom. Let's square these numbers. And I can eval and replace. That's pretty sweet. Okay, now for the awesome part. I made a little bouncy ball in canvas. I'm now connecting to it, and I can do stuff with the browser from the REPL. But check it out! I can write code straight in my editor too. I like setting the vertical and horizontal speed of the ball. Both at the same time, please. Yeah. Or I can change the elasticity of the ball to the point where it's gaining speed as it's bouncing. <laughs> Whoa, come back here. Okay, let's check out the CSS. What about a nice red background? Nah. Some stars then. Yeah! Cool! Now, time for some fun. Change the opacity. I'll make a new ball every time and then uh, loop the unnamed 200 times. See, there's the bouncy pattern. Now I can change the entry speed. Or the bounciness. This should dampen it quickly. And <laughs> this should make for some serious bouncing. I can even change the gravity. Okay, back to a real animation. See, there's the pattern we just made. That's it for Emacs Rock this time around. Swank.js is some pretty awesome stuff, if you can get it up and running, that is. Till next time.